Do I really have to cite everything? Well, basically, yes. If it's not your idea in your own words, cite it. When in doubt, cite it. Besides citing the obvious ones like books, articles, and websites, you must also cite unusual sources like videos, audio, speeches or lectures, graphics or charts, data sets, pictures, or other artwork. Well, what do I not cite? You do not have to cite a few things. If you conducted the original research yourself, then you are the creator of that information, so you don't have to cite it. This would include conducting your own survey, or your own analysis of a poem, measuring results in a lab or in the field. Another example is if you are talking about your own personal lived experiences. Finally, you don't have to cite information that is common knowledge. But what is common knowledge exactly? Well, many people think it's what most people already know about a topic, but that's too vague. A more formal definition is generally undisputed facts circulating freely about a topic. One way to think about this is, if you can find it easily in three or so reputable sources, then it's common knowledge. Oh, so for example, most people probably wouldn't know off the top of their heads, what is the strongest earthquake ever recorded in North America? But I could look it up in any print reference encyclopedia or in the U.S. Geological Survey webpage, and they would all say it was the 9.2 magnitude quake in Alaska in 1964. So that's common knowledge. Very good. Let's test your understanding of common knowledge next.